Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Welcome to A Toast to the Men with your guy, S.D. Booker. Thanks for the support. Thanks for joining me. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. That's very important for the YouTube algorithm. Let's go. Projection versus potential. Guys, uh, most times when we decide to settle uh, with a woman, most times we look through the goggles or through the glasses or through the lens of potential opposed to projection. Let me give you an example. You know, I like to watch the NFL draft. I don't watch every round or every day of it. It's, it's too long. And I like to watch the NBA draft. These are guys uh, who are coming out of college or coming right out of high school or out of uh, uh, off the street sometimes or uh, out of some type of league, uh, international league sometimes, and they want to get into the American professional league system. And so we have a draft system. Now, what I notice when these analysts speak, these analysts, these pundits speak on the draftees and where they foresee these guys going in the draft, where it would be the first pick in the first round or the last pick in the last round. When they talk about these guys, they've done their homework. They study these guys. They know about their backgrounds. They know about uh, the family history. They know uh, the pros and cons of, of taking these guys. They know what they bring, what baggage they may bring, uh, the positives they bring. They've watched these guys. They've seen them on tape. And what you will hear, you will hear these analysts say, I project or so-and-so is projected to go number one or number two or number three or projected to go in the second round. Now, that projection is based on the studies they've done, the film that they have watched, uh, the people they've spoken to, uh, opposing uh, teams, uh, coaches, high school coaches, college coaches. Uh, if they got a criminal record, don't have a criminal record, their social skills, their mental health, their emotional health, their spiritual health. They analyze all of this and they come up with a projection. And the projection is based on what that player has actually done, right? It's based on what they've done. And if they keep going the route they're going, they keep going following the path they've been going, they are projected to end up here, all right? So that's what it's based on. It's a logical analysis. It's not based on emotion at all. It's all logical, based on facts, things that can be substantiated. Now, what you will also hear analysts say is, if they don't talk, if they don't talk about projections, they talk about potential. Now, when they talk about players' potential, they say, this player has the potential of doing this, or this player has the potential of making the team or he has the potential of going here in the draft if he does X, Y, Z. Why are they saying potential? Because that player really hasn't shown what they truly can do. They don't have faith in the player. The player probably has underplayed. Underplayed and they hadn't lived up to their potential. And so this is just like a... Uh, uh, a coin in a bucket like we don't know what this player may do we can't even have a good analytical projection on this player because they're up and down they're inconsistent they hadn't really lived up to their potential they haven't accomplished much so they don't really have a true projection we're just stating the potential if they do that now let me tell you everyone has potential so that's not really saying much 
And this is the mindset that we have to have when we decide to settle with women. We have to base on if we're going to connect with a woman in a serious way based off her projection in life, not her potential in life. I mean, I could potentially fall out right now recording, right? But the way I live my life and the way I eat and the way I, I drink and uh, the way I take care of myself, I'm not projected to fall out on camera at any moment. You know, it will be a shock to everyone, but could potentially happen, right? So when we look at potential and choose a woman, we're like, man, she got potential. Really, man, we're looking through this emotional lens. We're listening to what she's saying, and we're probably listening to what she's doing from an emotional level to us at the moment. It's all emotion. It's not based on anything logical. Because if we were looking at it from a logical aspect, we would sit back, remove the emotion, and say, you know what? What, what has she actually accomplished? Right? And I'm not talking about 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago. What is she doing every year of her life? What has she accomplished every year of her life? Now, when you look at that, when you look at what a woman has or has not accomplished every year of her adult life, you can get a good analytical view of her projection. Where is she projected to go? You can see, wow, this, this woman has grown every year. She started something, she completes it. Her salary, her, uh, her salary, uh, her, her financial health, her mental health, her emotional health has grown every year. You know, you can see it, it can be substantiated. She can show you, she can tell you stories of where she's grown every year in her life. And that gives you a good, a good projection of where she's going. But if she can't tell you any goals she's knocked down, you know, recently. And and if not every year of her life, every two, three years of her life. Hey man, she can't be projected as a high draft pick. And that's just the fact of it. She has potential. Like the analysts and, and the pundits say. If she does this, this, and this, if she turns on the switch, yeah, she could potentially go number one. But looking honestly at her history, she's not projected to go number one. And that's what we really got to do, man, is look at this from a logical standpoint when we connect with these women. Because uh, at the end of the day, you're going to have two people that have collided. Their lives have collided. They're going to frustrate each other. You're going to stay frustrated with her. Uh, she's going to feel like you're picking on her. And, you know, you're going to have two people that are unhappy. And that's not right to anyone. That's not fair to anyone. So, you know, we have to be honest in our assessment. But uh, and we can't put it on the woman. We can't expect the woman to be honest with her delivery what she's pre putting out there, right? What she's projecting. You got to read between the lines and you have to look logically and not through emotion. That's why I tell men all the time, uh, never believe what a woman says, only what she does. Uh, because, man, she can tell you a lot, but numbers don't lie, right? And so you got to be able to, like, she got to be able to uh, hold true to what she says, uh, substantiate it, she can prove it. This is what I do every year. This is my growth every year. And you're good. you'll get a good idea where she's projected to go in life. Now, I know this channel is called A Toast to the Men, and I talk to men because I'm a man. But actually, this is a lesson that men and women can take when connected with someone. And so uh, I know I have women who are subscribed to my page or to my channel. And so this is actually a lesson for men and women to really sit back, think logically, remove the emotion, and look at where a person is projected to go based off of their past accomplishments rather than looking through uh, the layers of emotion, right? And saying, hey, this person has potential. You will say it yourself.
a lot of heartbreak, a lot of frustration. Trust me. All right? From me to you, love. Peace. Bartender, yeah, let me get a, get a double shot of that uh, Bossier. No rocks, no chasing, baby.